Hey guys, we are now going to look at another request of yours, Spirit Box. If you can hear some panting, that's my dog, just ignore that. I know nothing again about Spirit Box apart from that apparently there's an amazing female vocalist. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay. It's time for singing and then some screaming. And then some singing and more screaming. Some screaming's gonna come. No. Thank you for this suggestion. If you wanted to see me giggle like a little schoolgirl at screaming again, then mission accomplished. I'm going to kind of jump back a little bit, sort of to the start, to talk a little bit about how beautiful and unexpected her opening verse was in terms of this really light, a um, little bit of breath through the vocal quality. Let's have a listen again. <laughs> Oh, I really like the way she did that. So she's basically doing this, right? No one to be part of life. No. Like she's kind of coming in and out where it could have been, I want to be part of life. But it's not, no one to be part of life. So I like it. If that's what you like. Oh, I really like that. If that's what you like. Just bringing in a little bit of breath. I think she almost breaks on that note, maybe. If that's what you like. Yeah, that's what you like. La, la. There's a little, nearly a break there. So it nearly gets into like cranberries zombie territory but it doesn't but it's still a very cool subtle little effect there I really enjoyed that so let's get to the important part let's get to the screaming I want to see that again Uh, that's amazing. I, I'm, I'm laughing purely out of awe and shock because as an opera singer I just don't, I don't really hear this sort of stuff very often so it's kind of blowing my mind. I, since that opera versus metal video, if anyone's watched it, I've gone down a rabbit hole of trying to work out what is metal screaming, how does it work, what's the actual proper technique and I have gotten so confused. But I'll tell you what I see here from what I know about vocal anatomy. So take this with a grain of salt because for all I know, I could be adding to the crap <laughs> that's already out there. Okay, 
Okay, look at that mouth shape. <gasps> she changes the pitch of that scream by changing the shape of her mouth. So when she wants a darker sound, <gasps> she'll uh, either pull back her tongue, <gasps> bring that root of the tongue right back, uh, really sort of round out sort of more or and ooh sounds for a darker kind of lower pitch quality. And I'm sure she's going to do some high screams, but I think the opposite will happen where she'll go, ah, so she'll have a big mouth to make that a bit higher. So it's more open, a bit higher, lower. <laughs> I love how amazingly she transitions. Oh my god. I love how amazing she transitions into that. So good. So she's having, she's adding more power into this section here. A bit more volume behind this, a bit more breath, support. Oh, what? That was a weird shape. Do you see that? <laughs> I did it. Yeah, you did. What? Oh my God. Okay, my mind continues to be blown by metal screams. I'm learning so much more every day. Wow. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Please let me know if there are any other videos that you're really keen for me to check out. And also, if you have any recommendations and some decent tutorials on learning how to scream, I'd be curious to check them out. I wanna get to the bottom of this. Thanks guys, see ya. I just realized I was looking at the fucking laptop the entire time. This is it's not too noticeable. Isn't it? I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't look, forget. Look, look, you did. You look down. Look, look right to the eye. That's better. <laughs> oh shit. No. <laughs> oh.